My name is Micah Jones, and this is K-9 Summer, the 2021 Military Dog of the Year. She was with the Marine Corps, 1st Battalion, 7 Marines, and Kandahar, Camp Leatherneck in Afghanistan in 2012. She did find uh, weapons caches. She did find IEDs. Uh, she saved countless lives. She retired from the military and now civilian side in law enforcement. She served with the Amtrak Police Department since 2014, and she retired in January 2021. What she did in the military, she kind of went into law enforcement and just kind of kept it going just under a different title. And they diagnosed her with that PTSD. These dogs do experience what you and I experience. But I think now with the veterans returning now and, and, and recently, that they get diagnosed with that. And dogs can do it too. They are affected by what they've seen, smelled, or, or heard over there. It does traumatize them, just like you and I as, as, as humans. It does follow them onto the civilian side. Now that she's retired, she still continues to serve. Uh, I take her down to the VFW, the older veterans that are down there, and they, they just, again, the smile from the active duty guys to the people at the veterans home, the joy that the dog brings, and I think Considering she is a veteran, that kind of gives them even more like credi credibility for her to come down there. It's hard to estimate how many lives she probably saved when she was a war dog with the uh, Marine Corps. Still, though she may be retired, she's still a very active dog. There's nothing like having a dog in company because everyone is drawn to the, uh, to the dog. And as they say, Summer's a very friendly, welcoming uh, animal. And so it just makes everyone relax. Veterans bring their families in there. And the kids play around with her in the, in, the, in the VFW. And so she still serves, representing military working dogs and war dogs that have served in the military in a wartime situation. I think military working dogs and law enforcement dogs, like it saves a lot of time and manpower, per se. And it's proven it saves lives. So I think the dogs, they're vital to any agency, whether law enforcement or military to uh, go out and sniff for explosives or narcotics or, or what, the, the, the trade of the dog. It's a dog, right? Military working dogs have been part of history and war since World War I. I think they're getting the notoriety uh, that they rightfully deserve. These dogs are important to the war on terrorism. She retired from the, the Marine Corps on my birthday, uh, April 24th. I, I think definitely this dog was meant to be in my life. And I, I think she's helped me out a lot uh, with on my downtime, I guess you can say, and I've, I've helped her out in her downtime. <clears throat> We're blessed to be together, and it's been a good ride, man, with her. It's all about her. I don't have an answer for what my life would be like. Obviously, you know, you got family that helps you out, but uh, the dog's with you, someone's with me 24 seven. Uh, she sleeps in the same bed as me. Um, she's obviously by my side all the time. I feed her. I, I don't know. I don't have an answer for where I would be if, if I didn't have her, but I truly believe she was put in my life for a reason. Just knowing what she went through, it just, it just I got so much admiration for it and respect and, and love for her. So it's, it's something very special that her and I share together. And she's my hero, so.